fool. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai and this track fast becoming a rookie's favorite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is Crofty, he's showing great promise so far this season. Well here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. Well, the rumor in the paddock Crofty is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go, Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin, he's bombed. His teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. Okay, Ada, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. Okay, Aiden, see if you can recover a few places. What was that all about? You can recover, Aiden. That's not okay. That's really not okay. Okay, the gap behind is 3.7 seconds. of fuel remaining.
laps of fuel remaining. seconds. to digest there and a little bit ominous seeing the two Racing Point teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again.
Casper. What the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper. Come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper. Ackerman. Mum, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? Right now? No. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackerman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! Hey, Ma. Hello, love. I saw the race and thought I'd give you a call. And why is that? Just to say, well done, like I always do. Oh, right. I saw what happened in the race with Casper. Can't believe he wasn't penalized. Are you okay? I'm fine. And Casper, what's he said about it? Nothing. He wouldn't speak to me. Well, maybe keep trying. It can't hurt to clear the air. Just remember what your grandmother always used to say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. I'm not even sure that makes sense. Just whatever's going on, don't let it get to you. And call me later, okay? <laughs> Will do.
It's a great day for racing here at Le Castellet, and the drivers are making their final preparations on the grid. Let's hope for a thrilling contest then here at the French Grand Prix. Six lefts and nine rights give us a total of 15 corners here at the circuit Paul Ricard. And a lap covers an overall distance of 3.6 miles. Average speeds will be somewhere in the region of 142 miles per hour. And they'll be maxing out on the Mistral Strait at around 205 miles per hour. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season. And the standings are starting to take some kind of shape, Ant. Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Racing Point underperforming somewhat. The two Racing Point drivers denying each other points, perhaps. Well, it's all to race for, and a lot of season left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat, and Ricardo. Norris, Vettel, Sainz, and Pierre Gasly. Ocon, Ackerman, Devon Butler, and Albon. Giovinazzi, Grosjean, George Russell, and Aidan Jackson. Magnussen, and Nicholas Latifi. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. OK, we've not quite had the start of the season we'd hoped for, but we've got a chance to make up some ground today. Try to keep your nose clean and show us what you've got. Good luck, Aiden.
laps of fuel remaining. Fantastic! You deserved that race win. And with that, we wrap up yet another incredible Grand Prix weekend. Business as usual for the big three, but a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield here in France. That's certainly much better from Racing Point. Frankly, they should be in the mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. They've certainly proved it today. The Racing Point team will be very happy with today's performance and the final result. Another display of excellent driving and excellent teamwork and a well-deserved first-place finish. work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Aidan, congratulations. You got on the podium. That's a fantastic result for both you and the team. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's a team effort. I'm just the one behind the wheel. It was an amazing result today and I think everyone deserves it. I'm just pleased I could bring it home for them. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? Definitely. In my mind, there was never an issue. Driving for Formula One is all I've ever worked towards. The transition was always going to be smooth. There's no complaints for me so far. So there's no current tensions within the team? We've all seen that you and Casper have locked horns so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? I think there's always going to be a settling in period. It doesn't matter who you're paired up with. You've got to have a strong character to do what we do. We may have our differences, but I'm sure we'll get there. Great. Well, that's everything. Brian. Aiden, just so you know, there's a full team meeting in 20 minutes. No worries. We just want to review our strategy while the race is still fresh in our minds. Right, OK. I'll see you there. Uh, listen, while you're on, I just wanted to say that was some solid driving out there today. I'm impressed. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Put it this way. It's been noticed. Well done, kid. I'll see you in the meeting. Hey, Ma. Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. You OK? Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. And I think the neighbours probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> oh, not again. I 
I'm so proud of you, Aiden. Hey, it's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, Silverstone was always your dad's favorite track. I know. You're still coming to the race, right? Do you really think I'd miss out on the VIP treatment? <laughs> of course I'm coming. I just wish it wasn't on my own, you know? Yeah, I know, but I'll be there. And I can't wait to see you. Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Well done again. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon.